Hello, this is Shahab Iqbal and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with a new video that is about the second year MBBS guidelines given by the toppers of uh, Khyber Medical College and the majority of campsites have agreed upon these guidelines about the modular system. So watch video till the end and avoid skipping because uh, if you are skipping the video then uh, you may miss the, any of the important uh, points. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Mohid Alam Khadr. I am third year MBBS student of Khyber Medical College. Today I will be giving a short guideline about how to cover your second year MBBS anatomy course and we will go through the three modules D, E and F. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Armagan Zul and today I will be guiding you about the physiology course for the second year MBBS. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Bahad Zia and I will be guiding you guys related to the biochemistry portion, the second year and BBS. Assalamu alaikum, uh, this is Umar Anwar from a third year uh, MBBS Khyber Medical College and today I will be talking about how to cover uh, histology and embryology portion of second year MBBS. Okay, so now coming to the course of the block D. So let me tell you the block D contains uh, the two modules Neurosciences 1 and Neurosciences 2 or simply you can say NS1 and NS2 and uh, the portion of each and every subject and uh, now you are seeing on the screen so you can simply take a snapshot here and the credits for all this uh, review goes to the medical beep MCQs page there is no need for me to explain this because that will make the video longer and simply follow the guidelines given in the page uh, for example if you are uh, studying the embryo portion of the block d so go go for the langman chapter number 18 and that is the embryo portion of ns1 of block d there is no need to explain uh, everything is written over the page so it simply take a snapshot here and now let's go to the actual guidelines how to study each and every of these portions so we will cover block d not my portion first and starting with the neuroanatomy so i will appreciate that you watch the lectures for first you watch the lectures and then you go through the book it will be a lot easier for the lectures mostly recommended by the student of Kuiper medical college are the lectures by dr najib and then if you are not interested in that or you have problem in understanding you can watch ninja nerd lectures too they are very good like you can also understand most of the neuroanatomy from that and then you can go through your clinical neuroanatomy book so you will find it a lot easier if you watch the lecture first and then you go through the book in neuroanatomy if you want to skip some chapters so i will recommend that you leave the first three chapters because they are covered in the neurophysiology portion and but you have to go through the uh, specific chapter like spinal cord midbrain cerebrum cerebellum and limbic system all these chapters with the blood supply and you can leave that development portion to autonomic nervous system you can leave the that chapter too cause it is covered in the neurophysiology portion coming to the uh, head and neck portion so for head and neck like uh, students have different opinion but most of students agreed on if you have time and you can uh, read so first you go through the gray's anatomy like most of the diagrams and explanations specifically for the skull and eye air you can watch uh, you can go through gray's anatomy book after that you can go through a snail for oral cavity or you can give a journal revision and preps if you want to after reading gray's anatomy then you can go through the snail whole chapter and you will find it a lot easier when you study snail with the netter by your side it will be a lot easier for you and for lectures uh, for eye and ear special senses you can watch dr najib videos for anatomy too and then you can go through ninja nerd videos for skulls theology i will prefer you watch varankarya videos from youtube you will find it very good coming towards the blood d according to kmu the book which is which is recommended is guidance so you have to study it from there there are three units of neurophysiology one deals with the sensory physiology the other one is mainly special senses and some other chapters and the third one is motor physiology coming toward the sources from which you have to study so when you will be studying neuroanatomy from dr najib lectures almost 50 percent of the physiology portion gets covered 
along with it. So you have to watch Dr. Najib lectures for neuroanatomy and th those lectures are for neuroanatomy and neurophysiology both. After that, uh, for more brief and good concepts, uh, I will suggest brainless musicos. Uh, many of our batchmates have done it from there. Uh, is uh, the chapters are more lengthy, so the brainless medical lectures are brief, and uh, you can easily study the important points from it, which are important for OSPI and exam paper. The way to study uh, physiology for uh, blood D, so it is good to make uh, the notes of the important points on your own. Uh, only the important points. It will help you in future for quick revision and OSPI, etc. Also, it's good to make, to highlight the main points and the important points in the book. But make sure uh, when you are when you are reading it for the first time, then uh, don't highlight it. Once you get an idea, then after that you can uh, highlight. Uh, but uh, only the important points which are uh, relevant for MCQs and OSP etc. Starting from the first module, that is the block D. It contains the neuroscience one and neuroscience two. The biochemistry portion from this module is like very short and it contains almost five MCQs in the paper and two Viva station in the OSP. So if you have a time and you want to study it in a comprehensive manner, you should have then study the Pankajanai because most of the student over here, the majority of the student over here has studied from Pankajanai, the neurotransmitter chapter and then the neuroscience two module contains the nucleotide metabolism and the DNA and the genetics uh, related chapter. You can study it in a comprehensive and explained manner from Pankaj if you have time. If you are short of time, then go for the Kaplan lectures along with the Kaplan book. The Kaplan will provide you the basic concept and the main high yield points. You will understand the things, but it would not be in an explained or in a comprehensive manner. Okay, so now coming to the block E. The block E also contains two modules that, uh, b that includes the GIT module and the renal module. So simply take a snapshot here again. And now let us be going to the actual guidelines given by the toppers. Now coming to block E, as you know, there are two portions, GIT and renal. So the book mostly used is Snell and I will prefer that too. That you can use later at least. And I will appreciate if you have time or you are in your session you can go through the models present in your college museum and at the simultaneously you can watch animated videos on youtube for that model it will help you a lot in understanding the concept and the main point you have to understand is the vasculature of the block e uh, model vasculature present for git and renal it is highly important for lectures of Blocky, you can watch Dr. Adil Bandhu's videos on YouTube or you can go through Kenhub videos. Like they are very good for anatomy. If you are, uh, you find difficulty in understanding peritoneum and that greater momentum pouches. So you can watch Kenhub for that too. Now coming toward the course of the blood E, it contains GIT physiology as well as renal physiology. The GIT physiology is more easy, short and its MCQs are also more in number. The renal physiology is more conceptual, more complicated and lengthy too. Coming toward the sources and lectures, I have studied both from MBS media lectures. The lectures are too much satisfactory. You are studying the lecture, uh, read Guyton with it too because that teacher explains each and everything from Guyton. Along with that, if one haven't that much time, so you can also go for brainless lectures. Uh, brainless medical lectures too. That's short and brief. Uh, for renal physiology, the same MBS medical lectures as well as brainless. For uh, renal physiology, the ninja nerd lectures are more review type and not that much satisfactory and not recommended. The renal physiology is more conceptual and more complicated, so one can also go for Dr. Najib lectures if he has got enough time. Uh, the Dr. Najib lectures are more conceptual based. The way of learning the course of the blood E physiology is the same as for D. Do make your own notes for GIT as GIT is short, so it's not necessary. Uh, for renal, it's good um, to mention the important points, and um, you can also highlight the important points. It will help you in future for quick revision or OSP, etc. Now I will explain the biochemistry portion of the block E. The block E contains the GIT module and the renal module. 
the biochemistry portion of this module of this plug is relatively long and it contains the metabolism of the proteins carbohydrates lipids the integration of these uh, of these uh, metabolism along with a chapter that is called the biological excretion in the initial first of all i would like to give you people the books and the videos the videos are dr najib ninja nerd kaplan videos and dr rajesh jambulkar on youtube the books mostly used are lipin card and uh, pankaja knife now i would like i would say about the majority the majority over here have used and watched ninja nerd and pankaja knife and it's up to you whether you want to follow any other book or you want to watch any other lecture first of all the thing is if you are in the session during the session when the college is open and you guys are going to the college i suggest you guys to watch the ninja nerd lectures and then read the book pankaja knight in the first go now i will conclude the biochemistry portion of the block e in the session ninja nerd pankaja knight in the preps kaplan videos along with the revision of the ninja nerd that's all about block e Okay, so now we are left with the block F. The block F also contains two modules, uh, that includes the endocrine module and the reproduction module. So simply take a snapshot here again, and uh, follow the writings you are seeing on the screen, and you will go again to the toppers and their guidelines. Coming to block F, as you know, there are two portion: endocrine and reproduction. So starting from the books, the mostly used book that I will prefer and most of the students have used is Snell, and with that you can use a Netter Atlas. Or if you are, if you want to be a topper or you are more interested, then you can go through Gray's and Orton too for diagrams. For lectures of Block F, you can go through Adil Bandook videos on YouTube and can have videos for anatomy, as I previously told you. At the last, I would like to add a few points. Uh, it will help you. So first, I will appreciate if you make notes. That will help you a lot, especially for Block D. Like it is, if you are not making notes, then you are doing a big mistake. So I will prefer if you make notes for Block D, especially neuro anatomy, neuro physio, and then coming to Block E and F. you have to make notes especially for the arterial supply nerve veins and lymph nodes called they will help you in ospies and as well as your theory paper and for block e and block f i will suggest first you go through embryo then histo then you have to come through gross anatomy so in that sequence it will help in covering the portion of block e and block f now coming toward the course of the block f it comprises of endocrine physiology as well as reproductive physiology uh, the endocrine physiology is uh, easy and it uh, covers more mcqs you can study it from selfless medicos lectures uh, for an idea and then start reading it uh, from gaiton it's easy there and go for it one can also use uh, the rs chart book or the dose chart books for black f course to get important points and the way of learning uh, the black f physiology is the same as black d and e physiology do make your own notes if you have enough time or just highlight the important points for book revision now i will explain the biochemistry portion of the block f the block f contains the uh, endocrine module and the reproduction module first of all most of the students uh, suggest that if you have studied the physiology portion of the uh, block f module in a detailed manner from gaiton and like you have concept you have command over your concept then the biochemistry portion of the block f module is already covered but still if you have time and you want to learn the things then there is a whole chapter related to the hormones in the mn chatterjee book go with that study from there but if you don't have the time then study the physio portion of the block f module in a detailed manner and you are already done with the biochemistry portion of the block f that's all about the biochemistry portion of the block f thank you very much uh, in second year uh, the, the main problem is that the course is too large so you don't uh, get enough time for these uh, two subjects uh, which is histology and embryology so the smart worker is uh, who manages um, histology and embryology with the uh, mega subjects like physiology etc so you will have to focus 
on the main points and uh, the methodology by which you are doing this so i will be explaining this uh, these two subjects by two ways uh, the one uh, for toppers uh, uh, for example you have a lot of time from the start of the session and the other one uh, when you got stuck in preps so you you won't have uh, much time so how to deal with these two subjects then about the books of histology and embryology so the main books are um, the same which were used uh, by uh, the students in first year uh, the main uh, the books are uh, the number one book is like Hussein for histology and if you fall short of time so you will have to use a Firdos histology uh, then uh, the second book the for embryology the main book is Langman but uh, again if you fall short of time so uh, then uh, you will have to uh, cover your syllabus with this book named Sharjeet uh, this one is, by the way, uh, more, more, much more recommended than the Firdos because Firdos is a little bit short. <clears throat> uh, about the methodology for how to do it, uh, there are a few methodologies depending upon your uh, study level and your hard work. So, for example, if you are a topper, so for histology, you will have to do, um, uh, or there are no uh, proper lectures, so you will have to do directly from the histology book, like Hussein. And if you want to learn more, so you can also do read uh, the summary from Die 4 book of um, histology. The second one, if you are not that much hard worker and you are, you are uh, short of time, so uh, then you will have to, uh, then you can read histology, this book alone. And after that, the third methodology, if you are um, further short of time, then you can read Firdos histology book. And again, if you if uh, you are uh, uh, very much short of time and uh, tomorrow is your paper and you haven't touched the book, so you can also take uh, the main important notes from seniors. Our class fellows have made a PDF of the important points, so you can ask me or the page and you will get the PDF of the important points. And the last, uh, the histology, last point for histology is that uh, whenever you study from the start, you highlight the points for uh, for about lectures there are a few channels so uh, this there is a contradiction among the students for which one is best i recommend you to watch uh, each of the videos uh, one or two of videos of every channel and then uh, select the channel which suits you so uh, the channels names are dr rose ninja nerd uh, brainless medicos and selfless medicos so the first two dr rose and ninja nerd are highly elaborated and the uh, last two, the later ones, uh, the um, brainless medicos and selfless medicos, these are when you fell short of time. For embryology, the first preferable method is uh, that you watch Dr. Rose or Ninja Nerd and after that you read Langman. If you do, do not have enough time, then you read this book, Shergil's uh, Embryology, uh, after watching video lectures of um, Dr. Rose and Ninja Nerd. The third methodology, if you do not have uh, uh, much time, so you just watch the brainless and selfless medicals along with Shurjil book. And again, if tomorrow is tomorrow is your, your paper and you haven't touched the book yet, so you just watch the selfless and brainless medicals lectures, note the important points, uh, read it again and go for the paper. And inshallah, uh, you will do much better for the paper. But that. Uh, remember that is just the last step the preferred method is that you uh, work from the start um, for every block there are about 20 mcqs collectively of histology and embryology so just don't ignore it um, if you can do it from by the first method do it by the last method uh, that will help you in exams thank you so much